Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Aisha from Bags of Style. So in today's video, I wanted to do my 2024 handbag wish list. I'm so super excited, but I honestly feel like 2024 is gonna be a low buy for me when it comes to handbag. But anyway, if you guys don't already subscribe to my channel, what are you waiting on? Please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. Come join the family. We talk about everything bag related from contemporary all the way to luxury and to my returning subscribers thank you guys so 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 much let's get into my 2024 handbag wish list okay everybody so like i stated my 2024 i'm looking at probably maybe just four handbag that i'm really interested in but honestly this is just a wish list things happen i might buy more or i might buy less as you guys saw on my 2023 all the handbags that i purchased I really did not know that I purchased that much handbags. But anyway, let's just get into these four bags that are on my wish list. The very first one is a Louis Vuitton Capucine. Yes, guys, I really want a Louis Vuitton Capucine. I just think it's just like the top of the line when it comes to the brand. Um, it's the line that's like the most expensive uh, um, for Louis Vuitton. I just think it's just a classic bag. I'm looking at the BB size, honestly speaking. Um, I've watched a lot of videos. The mini seemed too little for me. And um, a lot of the feedback and a lot of the reviews that I've been looking at is that it's so it's cumbersome when you want to go in and out of the bag. So I really do not want that. So I'm really looking at uh, the BB size, which is the size up. Um, either the BB or the MM, or uh, the either the BB or the PM size. I don't really want the MM. I think it's too big. But those are the two sizes that I'm looking at. But I'm really interested in the BB size. Um, you guys see the picture on the screen. I don't know what color yet. I do like the cream because I don't have a white bag in my collection. So I'm I'm kind of on a hunt for a white bag and also on a hunt for either a blue bag or a green bag um i've had i got other colors in my collection which i'm so thankful for but i don't know exactly what color yet but i do know that the size that i want is either a first choice is bb then next choice might be pm but bb is where i'm going but i'm not 100 percent sure on the color yet now let's get to the second bag so the second bag that i'm looking at is the valentino one stud bag oh my god um there isn't really that much YouTube video on that bag, but I don't know. I think I saw it on, I think, Megan Margot, the white with the gold hardware. I would just fell in love. But I'm more interested in this on the screen, the black on black. I only have one so black, as they call it, um, bag in my collection, which is my YSL Sunset bag with the crock and boss. But I'm really interested in this bag. I just think it's so beautiful and so classy. I really do want the black on black. Um, and I'm looking, I don't know yet if I'm going to go pre-love or if I'm going to buy brand new. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I do love the fact that it's Napa leather, um, because coach got me into loving Napa leather, obviously, but I don't know. Um, I think the only thing I'm kind of a little bit scared because Napa leather is very soft leather. So I don't know, but I just love how beautiful this bag is. And especially in the black on black. Oh my God, like I really want that bag. I think that's probably one of the top, top bag on my list that I really want is the Valentino One Stud bag. I just think it's so beautiful, especially in the black on black. It just stand out like it's it's elegant and it's just, it's classy. It's like a classy bag. And even the way it's shaped, as you guys see the picture on the screen, it just shapes so beautiful. It just shaped as like a feminine bag, like a bag you can do for date night or a bag you can do for every day. Well, not every day, honestly, but like special events and things. But hey, knowing me, I will wear it anytime. So even going grocery shopping, because I don't want to baby my bags. So that's the second bag that I'm looking at adding to my collection. Now let's go to the third bag. So the third bag is definitely, 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 I want to add it to my collection. Um, is the Fendi Fendi graphic bag, but in the size small. Um, I've been looking at reviews. I see people that have the nano. The nano is the one that you wear as a bracelet. I don't really want that. Um, I and I know they just released the mini, which is between the 
nano and the small there's a mini that i don't know if it fits some people say it fits a phone but i don't know what size phone but i do want the small because i want that hobo style kind of bang um as you guys saw on the video that i post on bags that i want to sell th this is the reason why i'm thinking about selling my louis vuitton loop hobo bag um because i want the fendi fendi graphic in the size small um i feel like the 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 lv uh, um loop hobo is too big now for me but i don't know yet um as you guys know in that video i said i'm 20 percent on the fence of selling it but i do want the the um the fendi fendi graphic in the size small i don't know the color yet so um i have seen several colors of it and they're all so so beautiful but i'm not 100 percent sure on the color yet that i want to get i know they have this beautiful green which is like it's not a dark green but it's, it's like right i don't know it's like it's so 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 beautiful so i don't know if i want to go for a green or if i want to go for the all graphic i don't know yet i'm not 100 percent sure yet so on the color but i know i want the bag <laughs> so that's where i'm standing right now with that one and then the fourth the last bag which obviously is not the least is my is the louis vuitton side trunk i i think i put it on my wish list for 2023 oh no 2020 yeah 2023 oh my god it's so crazy that we're about to be in 2024 guys but anyway so i do want the the louis vuitton the side trunk um i just think this bag i don't know i've loved this bag since it came out and it's one of all these four bags are really topless bag that i do want to add in my collection so that's why i'm kind of like having more of a low buy, low buy year because the capucin is very expensive the side trunk is expensive uh fendi graphic you can probably find it for a good deal and i think the one stud you can probably find it i'm not sure yet but i do want the side trunk i just feel like it's such a beautiful bag and even though I'm trying to downsize on my Louis Vuitton bag, there's certain bags that I'm like, I don't mind having as my collection, especially the trunk, because it speaks to the company's heritage, obviously Louis Vuitton, um, they were making trunks. That's how they, they got into the whole handbags, uh, -uh making thing, um, space, but I really do want the side trunk. Um, I don't, I don't want the PM size because I think they just came out with the PM size. I feel like that's too small. I want the regular side trunk. Um, my only situation right now is that I don't, I don't know if I want it in monogram or if I want it in the leather. So that's my only confusion right now. That's the only thing that's stopping me from really like moving forward and trying to acquire it. Um, is I don't know if I want it in monogram or if I want it in the leather. Um, because they make it in such beautiful leather and I think they're actually supposed to be coming out with the Demi Azure print so ooh, I don't know I might wait for that because um, I only have one Demi Azure print for um, Louis Vuitton so I don't know I might I might wait for the Demi Azure print because I do love that print so after the Demi Abin, if you've been around my channel, the Demi Abin print is my favorite print for Louis Vuitton. After that, I really love the Demi Azure, but it's like, I just, it's so sensitive. But like I said, I don't have a white bag. So maybe that can replace my white because I think that's the only kind of like a creamish white that I have in my collection. It's my Speedy 30 in Demi Azure, but I don't have any really all white bag. So anyway guys those are the four bags that are on my wish list for 2024 but as i said i don't know what the year old i might decide that hey i want to get <laughs> i want to get uh, other bags that might pop up i don't know what the new designs the new design that this bag companies are bringing out and things like that so the 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 four like my four detail bag like the bags that i'm like i want to add these those are like the ones that i'm focused on but i'm not sure what the year might bring i might add more bags but anyway guys i just wanted to get this video out to you guys so you guys know what my 2024 handbag wish list is even though it's a low buy year for me hopefully i stick to it but obviously you guys know bag lovers we we might say we're not buying that much and then we end up buying 10 15 bags <laughs> like what happened to me 2023 but anyway guys um that was the video for today i'll see you guys in the next one have a wonderful rest of your day bye